super good. She's she still has lots of. She's still pretty anemic. I don't know if you can um, hold on. Let me see if I can do it. Or not. Like you can see, she's still really super light pink. You can tell by like her nipples are still very light. But she's at about an 18. It's going up. It's just going up. Um, but the good news is, um, like I said, I think it was on recording. So basically that she is uh, a little pale. Um, however, they wanted her to get out. Um, her 1718. Um, I have to sit this way or I lose my connection. But so you can see her kind of, but she is doing fantastic. And I say that with all her skin is super raw very inflamed um you can see like her her st stomach is um still really raw in spots but she's a doll she got to have some chicken express on her way here it's doing fantastic so i wanted to share this with you rather than just a picture aren't you gonna say hi She's ready to get out and walk around. Pulled up to my house, and um, when we went in, they told me that she was able to go to release. They checked the blood work to make sure it went up. So, like I said, her white count is up. Her platelets are up a little bit. Not terribly high, but enough. Hi, Mama. She's so sweet. She just wants to lay her head on you the whole time. So... She is actually doing great. I know somebody said this is disturbing. This actually looks really good. I don't know if you saw her before, but this is Amora, and she's actually doing super, super, super good. So this will all heal. She'll get, and her hair will start to, I don't know if you can see it, but she's pretty bald. Like, she has a little bit of hair. But she, uh, um, she is doing super well. She's super, super sweet. Huh. Huh. So you can see kind of. She actually looks so much better. Her skin's like hard and scabby, and but nothing that a sweet little bath. I think her fur, if you look really, really careful, she's going to have like little spots. And I think she's like maybe a retriever pity. It goes completely down. We won't know 100%. Oh, thank you, everyone. We really, truly cannot do what we do without you. As much as you say we're heroes, without donation, support, or supplies... We literally can't do it. So by you helping and supporting our mission to be the voice of the voiceless um, allows us to do what we do. So thank you. And me and Moore just wanted to say hello, say thank you, even though she's not very chatty. Um, I'm going to get her out shortly. And um, we just pulled in, but I, I can't video and try to walk her at the same time just to make sure she's okay. So we're going to take her out to go potty and make sure she's good to go. But we know how. Look at that, another dead tick. But um, her ears are definitely, I don't know if you can see, much cleaner. Just look at her. She seems to hear okay. Um, or as, let's see, hold on, let's see if I can do this. I don't know if this will hold it or not. If it's, let's see. I don't know. She's, she wakes up. Hey. More. I'm more. I think she can hear. She does, she is not, we don't adopt until they're medically released. So she is going into foster care. Um, and there are some people interested in adopting her. Um, I know, Mama. Look, I know. Oh, sweet girl. She's so sweet. Look at her. That sweet girl. She just gave me her paw. So, again, this is Sweet Amore. Head into foster. She's super sweet. She just gave me her paw. You can see that she still has some, um, I'm going to go through a little bit. I mean, they got a lot off, but there's still some, I can see, ones that are stuck. They told me that they had to, when they, she got back up here, they had to pull more off. 
but it gets it's sore it hurts when you pull them off so they don't pull a lot of them off while she's anemic too because uh they when she's so anemic they can bleed and the skin is so tender so this one does not want to come but you can see there's still a few i'm just seeing this now i don't know if you can see the bone they don't like when i do this she still has a few stuck on her so her foster and we will um touch base shortly um or maybe they're just donations i'm not really sure but her foster is on her way we are gonna i think spend some time maybe picking the last of these ticks off um she is sleepy nope the ticks are dead they're all dead but the problem is is like many of you asked how they come off well we have to hand once they once they're stuck in there they don't come up so they will stay in they do have to actually go on and pull them off so they only want to do it so long because their skin i don't know if you can tell like i mean i really have to pull i know mama i'm sorry and it's like it's in these are all the babies so um no the ticks are dead all the ticks are dead they're just you can see like they're but it hurts to pull them off like they washed and washed and washed her um they were all between her toes like if you look you see how bad between her toes are those were all Those are, I know, Mama, I know, I know, I know, I know. I'm not going to mess with her. Um, but those are all spots where they pulled ticks. So she's had a, a Brevecto. She's had, a, um, she's been dipped. They're all dead. Um, she had multiple baths. So basically at this point, she, um, it's just a matter of just now going and doing it in small dosages. The one thing they don't um, like to do, like I said, is when it's already a, a blood shortage those out hurt i don't know um i mean they're, they're they're hooked still pretty good in her skin and relatively i see maybe 10 it's not like i'm talking there's a ton so um she's feeling better she was up now she's kind of like got the seat cool on her the air condition is blowing on her um not real high just mid like probably about 68 70 she's loving it she feels nice and you know her skin's hot from the infection so yeah she's doing super super great and she just wants to thank all of you i'm gonna thank her thank you guys for her so yeah she's super super cute like like you can see a lot of those will come out with baths and stuff so it will happen she will be much better. I'm going to get her some a wish list together. We're going to get her some nice little t-shirts that she can wear, um, a nice comfy bed. She'll need a kennel. So we'll get all of that ordered on a wish list and post probably tomorrow. So we will be looking so beautiful. Her she has, I think somebody mentioned the cauliflower. If you look, she does have it still. It's very like, but it is still pretty cauliflowery. I know a couple of you noticed that she still has spots where there are a few ticks, but God, you have to do it slow. So, and no. Amora, are you going to get up? Amora. I don't have any treats in the car. I took it inside already. So, she has not made a peep. Not a bark, not a cry, nothing. She'll find her voice. She just needs to feel content, confident. She's starting to finally feel better, and um, she will find her voice, and she's super clingy um, that she had Demodex. This is true. Yes, it is. Skin scrape, and it came out positive. She's bald. I mean, you can really see she has tiny peach fuzz, but I know, Mama. Yes, he wants her belly rubbed. I know.
Hey, sweet girl. Thank you. Okay, Joe. Can I have your paw? Can I have your paw? Thank you. Good girl. Good girl. Starting to get white fur and her little brown spot. And she's the sweetest puppy ever.